Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to exclude mobile apps from your Google Ads display campaigns. And first, I'm going to show you where you can view where your ads have been showing, so on which placements, on websites, YouTube channels, and mobile apps. And then next, we're going to go over how to make the mobile app exclusions in the Google Ads UI. And then thirdly, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Ads Editor to make those exclusions. If you're not familiar with the Google Ads Editor, it allows you to make bulk changes and you can make the mobile apps exclusion uh, a little bit quicker than you can do it in the Google Ads UI. So let's jump right into it. So first we're gonna log into our account and I'm selected on the campaign that I want to add the exclusions to. And we're gonna go into the insights and report section. And then we're gonna to go to when and where ads showed. And then from there, we're gonna to go to the where ads showed tab. And this is gonna show all the placements that your ads have been showing on. I'm using the type filter and I'm filter on mobile applications just to show you the mobile applications that are showing. And I typically, for all my clients, if we're gonna run Google Display Campaigns, I exclude all mobile apps from the get-go because in my experience, I've never seen good performance coming from mobile applications. They tend to uh, lead to a lot of wasted ad spend, a lot of accidental clicks because people are scrolling and using the app and they're accidentally clicking ads. And so I've never seen strong performance coming from the mobile apps and that's why I exclude them. And if I remove that filter, you can see it, it shows the sites and also the YouTube channels. So I'll make a future video on excluding certain things there. So now I'm going to show you where you can go in the Google Ads UI to make those mobile app exclusions. I already exclude them for this account, so I'm going to go into a demo account. And I'm in the same section. I am filtered on the display campaign. And now I'm going to go to the audiences, keyword, and content section. And then we're going to go into the content section. And then from here, you'll see there's a content section and an exclusion section. In the exclusion section, we're going to click Edit Exclusions. And then we're going to select Campaign. And then we're going to go into the Placement Exclusions. And then there's, you can see here, it says 141 app categories. We're going to click that. And if you make the exclusions in the Ads UI, you're going to have to select all 141 of those. And that's why I like to use the Google Ads Editor because you can do it all, exclude them all in one, um, one touch. And here you will need to go through all of these categories and select them. And, um, and then you can save and that will exclude the mobile apps from your campaign. But if you do in the editor, well, which I'll show you next, you can do it just by clicking um, all app exclusions. So um, you can go through it that way if you want to do it that way and then click save. And then that's going to add those uh, placement mobile app exclusions for your campaign. Now I'm going to show you how to use the Google Ads editor, which you can do the exclusions a lot quicker. So I'm going to pull that up now. First, if you don't have the Google Ads Editor, you can Google that, and I'll put this link in the description of the video, and you can download the editor. It's free, it's part of Google. It just allows you to make bulk changes in your accounts, and then you can publish it live into your account. So for certain things, uh, like the mobile app exclusions, it's a lot quicker to do in the editor, and then just publish them and push them live into your account. So. That's where you go to download that. And then now I'm gonna pull up the Google Ads Editor and we'll make those changes. So when you download the Google Ads Editor, you'll be able to sign into your Google Ads account and then you can select the account and then you can open it. And it'll bring you to this screen. And then from here, you can go to Get Recent Changes and click Basic. And I always like to do all campaigns and then click OK. And that's gonna download your account um, from its current state in your browser. And it's gonna make sure all the changes that were made are in the editor version. So it's just a good habit to do before you make any changes in the editor to download that. And then once that's downloaded, uh, we're gonna go to the keywords and targeting section on the left here. And then we're gonna scroll down to where it says mobile app categories negatives. And we're gonna select that. And since I downloaded the account, you can see the mobile apps I already excluded that we did in the UI. So you can see that change here. 
But now we're gonna exclude all the apps in just a few clicks. So we're gonna click add negative mobile app category. And then we're gonna click campaign level negative mobile app category. And then we're gonna select our campaign that we wanna add it to. And then we're gonna just click all apps. So it's highlighted there, all apps, and we're gonna click okay. And that's gonna allow you to make um, all those exclusions in a few clicks, whereas if you do in the UI, you have to select all 141 of them individually. And if you're doing that across multiple campaigns, um, that can be you know, a higher level of effort than if you just use the Google Ads Editor. And then after you, make, you add that exclusion here, we're gonna click Posts in the top right here. And then we're gonna hit Post. And this is just gonna push all the changes that we just made. And in this case, we just added the negative apps uh, categories. And you can see it, it did post successfully. So now all those changes are live in our Google Ads account. So um, that's pretty much it. I, I would recommend using the Google Ads editor. And if you have any questions on that or any other questions around Google Ads, please put them in the comment section. I'd be happy to help you out. And thanks for watching and have a great day.